so welcome back to this channel once again and today uh, in this video tutorial i'll discuss most common cl commands used with ili rpg so here are uh, some basic commands which are used to create ili modules programs and service programs which are uh, like uh, for creating module it is create rpg mod for creating a program it is create pgm for creating a service program it is create a service pgm for creating a bound rpg program where uh, you we use create bind rpg command okay so let's uh, see them so here we have this source member so we where we have some uh, we have one procedure sub procedure one and which is called in this pro in this source member itself okay so let's uh, create a module so if i took up take option for 15 here just press F, take a four so we can see that create rpg mod command gets uh, triggered so using which i can create a module object so module object is created so if i do work obj ili pgm1 i can see a module object so here if i do dsp mod on this i can see the module information okay so this information we can see now we can either create a program over this so ili pgm1 ili pgm1 so one more thing that we can keep the program name different from the module name and even we when we created the module we can keep the source member name or the module name different okay now if i take f10 so i can see more options where we where i can provide entry module binding service program and binding directory which i'm not gonna providing right now pressing enter will create a service uh, a simple program uh, ili program dsp pgm so if i do dsp pgm on, on this program i can see uh, the information of that program what uh, module binds to them or what service programs are bound to them what are the things which are exported okay now now uh, there are two ways either i can create a service that program using create pgm or i can create a service program on this so i'm creating a service program ili pgm1 this is the module ili pgm1 are all okay so I can see so now I have module PGM or service program objects okay so just for service program what I'll be doing DSP SRV PGM ILE PGM1 so we can see the information of the service program where we can see the signatures and all those things the module bound service programs procedures okay and here the signature of that service program now work obj ili pgm1 so if i delete these things and i want to create a bound rpg mo uh, program so i'll be using that create bind rpg command so create rpg mod create pgm create a pgm create bind rpg okay now what uh, what will happen here is 
a module gets created in qtem and which uh, will get spined to this okay and a program we will be having a program object only for this so it has some errors let's see what are those errors sorry okay the thing is we didn't specify the default activation group here in hspx so what we will be doing because we have uh, used the concept of procedure in this one so we must define the default activation group as a star no okay uh, which is by default is star yes so we can uh, do this here only in the command and now i'll be creating that bound rpg program okay so work object ile pgm1 okay shift f9 dsp pgm ile pgm1 so i can see that the module is uh, bound through qtemp so once the module gets created in qtemp it gets bound to the program and then the qtemp object gets deleted so that we cannot reuse this module object anywhere else okay so here we saw that uh, create bound rpg will uh, create a module object in qtem library and creates a star pgm program object from the module this module lo is lost after the job ends okay srv pgm invokes the ile binder also independent of the programming language and creates a service program object and this create pgm will create a program object okay and this will create a module object so these are the four basic commands um, which we must know while we are working on ile okay apart from these there are some other pro, uh, common commands which we use like dsp mod dsp sru pgm delete mod is for deleting a module okay work with mod is working with those modules any module okay these are the commands like uh, delete srv pgm so we can delete a service program update a srv pgm work with service program so here we can uh, simply work with service program or uh, so here what happens with update service program is for example so i am deleting this object i'm creating a module and then i am creating a service program okay I can see that I have service program this and this. Okay, so if I do DSP SRV PGM ILE PGM one, okay, I can see that we have ILE PGM one module. Okay. Now, for example, I just make a call twice okay so for example I'm compiling this module again Uh, let's wait uh, till the time module gets created so this module gets uh, created now what i can do is upd srv pgm so I don't need to create the service program again because that service program is already created so I need to update that service program 
I leave PGM1 and I leave PGM1 okay so it will update that service program so the same with the program as well where uh, we would be creating a program using create pgm command so after that we can update the program also if we are changing anything to the module so we can update that program using upd pgm command okay so this service program is updated so the same thing with the program also that is uh, upd pgm so which whose command is that command is here so now we have some commands like uh, creating the binding directory so we can create a binding directory using this command create binding directory so here we specify the binding directory name for example bndir3 okay work obj bndir3 so we have now binding directory in front of us okay we can add the entries in that binding directory using this command add bndire bndir3 just find a four here we can list the objects for example ilpgm1 we can list the uh, modules or the service programs here object type is for example module okay so we can display these entries as well ASP also PIR pndir3 so we can see that we have a module object added to this binding directory so now we can use this binding directory and in any of the uh, program which are created using uh, create bind rpg command or option 14 okay so where we can use a concept of this ile and we can still create those programs using option 14 we just have to create bind the binding directory where some procedures or uh, modules are bounded so here one uh, more command work bnddir bnddir3 okay we can see so from here if we take option 9 we can even add the entries from here and remove the entries from here also if i want to remove this i can remove this okay if i want to add any entry highly pgm pgm1 type star module or for example say sorry pgm okay so work so e so we can do we can directly uh, play with the binding directories entries okay so these are the basic commands uh, which we must uh, uh, know while working on ILE RPG so these are the common commands CL commands there are more other commands uh, which could be used with ILE RPG if we are going with uh, uh, advanced topics but this is the most basic and uh, most common CL commands which uh, one must have to have to use uh, if they are dealing with the uh, if he or she is dealing with the uh, ILE RPG so that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice time.